the same like so if it's just i don't like the idea of somebody yeah. we're back go ahead uh yeah. so uh, sorry everyone uh we've got uh lil hume on bogles zach barker on storm uh lil hume is actually one and one today the two o versus two o matchup did not seem very sexy and so we're gonna bring you this because zach does not have a point both of the two o players already have a point for the invitational so say, yeah. Zach, Zach actually has a chance to qualify in this in this match right here. So yeah, a little bit heavier uh, heavier prize here, heavier consequences. Yeah, that, so. there there are higher stakes in this match. Yeah, we what, haven't had little human in a while. Actually. We have not. He it's uh, like, oh well, this looks really good to start. Okay, this is storm or this is Bogle doing Bogle stuff. Yeah, so he's gonna search for another one drop. Shoot it up, probably ethereal armor, and crack in for a pretty good amount of damage. Yeah, and I think uh, Zach doesn't really care all that much, right? No, I mean, this is so. This is going to be dependent, I think, on Little Hume's sideboard. I think okay. this, this this match is going to depend on that because Zach does not care. Now, if Little Hume next turn sticks a uh, daybreak, yeah, that could be huge. That, that will change it. But he's, he's leaning on Daybreak right now. Is is this a Arch of Araska that you just it, play? It is. You know a little Hume. It's he likes a, his, uh, he likes his wacky cards. Fucking, <laughs> it'd be awkward as if he has Daybreak Cornet and can't cast it because he's got this fucking Arch of Araska in his deck. <laughs> well, thankfully he can right now. So He can? It looks like, yeah, he's got a he got double white. He, he doesn't. He's good. Yeah, he does. Is that is that yeah. white? Yeah, it's a plane. Oh, okay. And so yeah, that's a pretty big fucking deal. Remand? Um, no remand. I think Zach's getting getting squished. And that triggers. Oh yeah, he's super squished. Light pause is a fucking house, dude. That card is so good in this deck. We had another ethereal. <laughs> yeah. Gross. One, two, three, four, plus eight, plus ten. Plus 13. Oh, yeah, Zach's fucking super dead. Oh, no. Well, okay, fine. It's like the same card. It's the same card. <laughs> Unnecessary in the deck. but oh, Do you have to get a, a two it's, drop? It's equal or less. Okay. Yeah, but it's the same thing functionally. So, yeah, Zach's fucking dead. I think he got lazy with his keeps. <laughs> or I didn't realize exactly what he was playing against. I don't know if actually Zach has played against Bogles. I don't know. Hey, you know I what? Do I don't know. know that he has. I think he might not have ever played against this deck. Well, that was exactly what Bogles wanted to do. Storm kind of stutter on a slow hand. So let's see what Micah does. I don't. So I don't really like light paws and and Bogles. I and think I don't know. Every time we've seen it, it seemed pretty good. It would have looked really bad if it just got fatal pushed right then. Or whatever, or bounced. Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, I, like, I'm not going to take I, away I, from I, that. I really kind of like the hex proof. I, I thought that the hex proof was kind of the the whole point of playing. Bogus well, it it is. But I, why I like it is because it's an extra threat, and it's very yeah. powerful. It can just in a vacuum. It can just do. I mean, it yeah. Just it's. I mean, it did just stomp yeah. in three turns there. I, yeah. I'm I'm just saying that, like in general, like. Yeah, you want a hex proof threat, but there are yeah. only so many hex proof threats. So. The next best thing to a hexproof threat is a threat that just gets completely out of hand. Yeah. And I think that's what that card does, is it gets completely out of hand unless it's answered. So I mean, no, I, I get you. It's off it's off topic. Um that doesn't don't look at force any bigger. What do you no? <laughs> you need graveyard prismatic, that's fair, yeah. You need some yeah, graveyard brought, hate though. He, he brought in two. He brought in two lanterns. Okay, that's good. That's good. He should go fast enough that that should do the trick. Taking out pads. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Don't know what that was. Going too fast. Oh, that one super weird thing I told him that he probably shouldn't play. 
Yeah. Okay. What's it, what are the three things on the left? Prismatic endings. Okay. Three prismatics, three lanterns. Seems fine. Unless he gets boned by this random arch of It's it's, <laughs> it's kind of weird that he isn't just playing those instead of the path. He should he should be. <laughs> At this point, he should be. I do think that path is not with things like Murktide. I think I've, path is still. Yeah, I guess that fine. is the one concession as Murktide. But I don't but, think you care. No, right? I like, think you you should you should play the Prismatics in the main. I think always right now you should play the Prismatics yeah, in the main. Agreed. Agreed, indeed. I mean, my white deck, I just play. All of it because I can, but yeah. that's because I'm playing mono white, <laughs> and it feels really good to play all of it. But uh, yeah, no, for Bogles, if you're just playing a removal spell, I think that you, you tried a uh, Arch of Araska in your uh, mono I, white. I did not. No, I'm not playing Arch of Araska. <laughs> that is not a thing that's going to happen. Uh, it could happen. It could <laughs> like it could be good, John. You could draw extra yeah. cards. Uh, no. it, says, it says mono white can't draw a card. You got Arch of Arraska. I already does all the deck does to draw a card. They don't need a shitty land. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> so he needs a hand that goes fast and has a piece of hate. That's what Micah needs. So that just needs normal storm stuff. There's not much to commentary on there. He just needs to do storm things. No, I, uh... Night Pause is not hexproof, but... The thing that's nice is it can get... In a situation where you know there's removal, he can go get the totem armor to protect himself. And that's nice. I don't like that thing either. Here's a castle. Hopefully that castle doesn't bone him, because we've seen that happen before. Okay, good. It's not going to bone him. Good job. I've never seen him make a dude with this castle. He has not. But I like that it's there. Shouldn't be one of. He probably has more than one, but I don't hate it as a one of. Contingencies and all that. All right. Blue-white control doesn't play ca white castle anymore. And if it's not good enough for blue-white control, I think the card's probably not good enough for modern. Yeah. Now, when I've been in the mono-white deck, I have had one, and it, it pretty much does never come up. Yeah. Shit's just too fast. It is too fast, Shit's yeah. too fast. Shit is too fast. No, yeah, he's got both. He's got, he's yeah. got both. <laughs> We're waiting for that awkward hand where those are the two lands that he has. <laughs> <laughs> the old riggedy rancor. Follow up with ethereal. Yep, that's that's the the bogle stuff. These are the good cards in the deck. So five. It's a good start. Still needs a piece of hate though. If he gets a piece of hate, I feel pretty good for Micah here. Well, there's also the fact that there's not a whole lot going on for Zach. No, I feel like he should um, be. But I, I actually like this turn. So I actually like uh, play the dude. And then remand. And then remand. I, I think that's perfect. Whatever acceptable. he's going to do yeah. here. No, I think and, that's. And that's, then, then you set yourself up to try to go off next turn. Yeah. No, I think that's. No, no. Come on. Play the dude. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a very safe course of action. Because if Micah just has like a daybreak, then yeah. No, if he has if he has one of the paths that he left in, that's right. gonna he's look kind of bad. He's got a daybreak. He doesn't have I'm any. Gonna go for it, and this is remand. Yep. Okay, so that's a good turn for Zach. He's got no other land, so that's frustrating. Yeah, he didn't the, attack the, the, the loot. Uh, this they're okay. still resolving okay, the, okay, the. I was gonna say like Jesus, man. Jesus, All right, man. and so now this, this leaves Zach with a nice little turn to try to go off and even the score. I think he's and going to. Oh, yeah, uh, he is. Oh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't have a wing condition yet, I don't believe. But uh, that Metamorphos should be huge here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I think Zach's in really good shape. It should just be a back and forth. <laughs> Whoever draws better in game three, I think that's what we're looking at. What are we doing? I'm updating the thing. Oh, jeez. Two, two updated. I don't think we know for sure that he's won here. 
Oh, you're you okay. The first yeah, one. Oh, I, yeah, see what, I see what you're doing. Sweet Jesus. I was confused by the 001 dash thing. That was my keyboard disagreeing with me, is what that was. Metamorphos. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just assume he's going to win here. But uh, he, I could he, be wrong. he does need a win condition. Yeah. And he does not have that. Currently. He needs it now too because he knows he's fucking dead. And, and honestly, he he doesn't need a wing. He needs specifically, um, like goblins aren't going to get it done here. No. Is he? I mean, he has to have the perfect grape shot too because if it's a little short, then he's going to gain all that life back. Yeah, generally, if generally if you have enough to like, it's not going to be a problem with him not having enough. It's just. He's only got so many cantrips in his graveyard, and if yeah. they don't hit a grape shot, then he's all this is for nothing. Well, this is it. This is the turn. All right, Manamorphos. Draw a card. That's a land. Uh, this one comes in tapped, which is no good. He has not played a land for turn, but. Yeah, it's good to leave it up to wait for an untapped land. And he, the only cantrip he has left. Okay, you know he still got cantrips. He got serum visions, and uh, I don't know if that was opt or consider, but that's good. That that digs him pretty deep. Okay, okay. he might get there. Yeah, I think you need to bottom both of those. Metamorphose. What are you going to consider first? I like that. That's a bolt. Mountain. It was oh. a mountain. There he is. Another consider. Okay. There's the grape shot. Okay. Now he's got it. Okay. He's got grape shot and he's got remand in his grape yeah, shot. And he's got he's a remanded good. hand. He yeah, could remand the same good. grape shot twice. Or, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Micah knows. All right. Well, that's going to put us to... But he was sweating it there. He was almost. He was, I mean, he could have. Fallen. It could have failed. He was almost to the point where he was going to have to start casting rituals and remanding them just to try to draw. Yeah. Into the wing condition. No, it was. It was close. And and if he would have had to have done that to find it, he might have been a little short. I uh, I do like that. So when he was first, you know, when he started playing this deck, he was very much with remand and the mindset of like, well, this is I, I get my grape shot with it, and it. We worked on him like, no, remand is just remand. Like, it yeah, just wins it's, games. It's just, it's just one of the best yeah. spells ever. And that's the best example of what it does for the deck is exactly that. Because you know yeah. you're going to go off when you go off. You don't, you're not grinding. You're just securing. That's all that's happening. Yeah. It's actually one of the things I'm most sad about. I, uh, I'm i three weeks into this month of Vintage Cube season. I have yet to draft remand. Oh, yeah, that's I've, sad. I've never had the card in my deck, and that is... That, I draft blue a lot, so it's, right. it's kind of crazy. I've never had it, but... Uh, yeah, it's there's nothing, like, there's nothing more fun than when somebody tries to tinker and you remand right. their tinker. I feel like Micah should be playing Relics over Lanterns. Yeah. Relics are more expensive. They're, they are like 6 to $8, I think. Yeah. That, that I mean, is that, a, is, that is a consideration. It is. It is a big deal. I mean, for an uncommon man, that's, that's a lot of money, really. I, I feel like in, in this matchup, though, I feel like the Lantern's better. Yeah? Yeah, because no, no, cause the, like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I could be wrong. I think it does I, I think, kind I think of just tapping it to, disc, to exile one card, like, on the turn that he goes off there, like, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, uh, fair having, enough. To, having to have the mana up to get rid of the, the whole thing. I, I think really it's just super, it's very draw dependent. It's very situational. It's, it's a lot yeah. to do with variance, what the games look like individually. Yeah. I, I think it's probably better for his deck just because he doesn't care about his graveyard. Right. Well, that's a terrible hand. Yeah. I don't even want to touch that once, put that shit back. Okay, well, I think Zach's probably going to win Is that this. a Vandal Blast? Uh, wait. Oh my god! Please tell, it, please tell me that's not a vandal blast. I think if you saw it, I. Oh my I god, Zach! Oh my god, read the fucking card, man. 
Let's hope it's not. Oh God, I hope not. I hope not. I really hope not. Okay, Spirit Dancer. Uh, that is a shitty hand, but I think he's gonna have to keep it. Spirit Man. No, you're gonna put that back. You need a good aura. What are the? Auras I mean, hey, you know what? This is perfect because he's gonna turn one and oh, he's gonna give okay. give uh, give a target for this Vandal Blast. <laughs> no, he's not. He's gonna wait for it. Is it? Is no, he didn't. He didn't cast it until he needed to. So he's gonna. He's got a decent hand. It's it's decent. Is that Vandal Blast really? Wait, I I I'm not oh a God. not a hundred percent. Yes, it is. It sure looks it like is. it is. Zach, you fucking goon. <laughs> if if he, I like this. I like this a lot. Aura totem on. No 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 no. You're gonna search for the other totem to put on her. Put that on Spirit Dancer. Or does it have to target her? I, I think it has to target her. Let me see. I kind of feel like it doesn't, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out because we have the internet. I like just saying things as fact when I actually know nothing about a card. Just like, well, in my opinion, they wouldn't design something that poorly. So this right. is what it must be. Is there a hyphen? Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to target her. Why are you? Why, Micah? That's silly. Why are you loading this all up on her? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like Zach's going to kill it. I know. That's what, what I'm just saying is like, there's no reason. Core Spirit Answer could be attacking right now with all this shit on it. I pause as summoning sickness. Am I wrong? No. Oh, wait. Like, like no, this, is, no, this is the next turn. This is yeah, the next yeah. turn, yeah. So, Zach takes a bunch of damage and has to try to find a way to win. I don't know. I just feel like he may as well have just diversified. There's not really... Oh, he's there, got, there's he's a target, target for, for Vandal Blast. Blast. <laughs> got there. I mean, if Zach does that, then... <laughs> I mean... Whatever. <laughs> if he's doing that, then he's not winning, and that means he's dead. No matter how much weight... Just the most redundantly obvious statements make in Magic, or have in Magic. Yeah, no mana reducer. This is honestly just not a keep. Yeah, that's exactly the case. It, it, yes. it was it was bad sideboarding into bad keep. Yeah, I don't know. He's played against this deck before. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, that's it. Nope, no three zero for Zach yet. Oh man, that's heartbreaking. It is. We are really rooting for you. Really rooting for you. Oh, all right. Well, that's gonna do it. Um, that's it for modern tonight, right? We're we'll be back at ten. Yeah, with back pioneers. at ten for some pioneers. And uh, yeah, Micah. Yeah. Little, little Hume. <laughs> It is nice. We're yeah. fucking living it up over here. <laughs> yep, nice. Isaiah gets a three zero tonight. Patrick better be proud of me. I played with it with red green yeah. shitters. Yeah, it was good, dude. It was it was solid. Yeah, I'm showcasing all the tokens. They are on a cycle. Like, well, I'm missing some because some are too low resolution for me to put up there. But uh, yeah, so. That does do it. Uh, how do you feel about your second uh, point? There is it. Third point. Two points were given out. Oh. Nice. Uh, no, only one point given out. That was three. Huh? There were two three O's. Oh, there were two three O's? Yeah, because me and Thomas were both two O. You guys picked the two O versus one one matchup. Yeah. Oh. So you said, quote. So you didn't play each other? This more interesting. Yeah. Me and Thomas played against each other. Okay. I beat Thomas. So who's it? So there was only one three zero. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. Your math is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Yeah. I'm because I'm so used to that being both two. Right, yeah. right. No, no, no. Oh. I was gonna say yeah. No, the one and one one. So there's only one three zero. Yeah. And that's you. This is the first time Micah's been in a while. It is. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is.
Cool. All right. Well, that does it for the uh, six o'clock. Tune back in. Um, Ten o'clock Eastern o'clock. time. The uh, tokens that you've been seeing scrolling through on the side here, we will have token decks of all our tokens available for purchase in the store. You can do so. And soon enough online once we get our shit together. Yeah. And also the ones that you see in black and white are slowly being. Yeah. They will be colored colorized. eventually. Right now they're available in black and white because when we first started doing tokens, it was all just analog pen to paper, all that, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm catching up, but we will have the uh, sweet color tokens you see ready for you. Are you going to beat dubs Are we going to beat dubs Yeah, we are. We're going to beat dubs So there you go, Randy. We're going to beat dubs Come join us. Yeah. And be merry. Yeah, we, we had been going to downtown, but uh, AC, it's they, fucking like a million degrees. Yeah. And they don't have food, so fuck them. I was about to say their AC is broke, but the guy's just cheap. Yeah, that's what that's what it sounds like. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, don't forget, if you need some uh, TCG cards, you need to order some off TCG, check out our store to see what we got up, post it up there. Um, uh, we might have what you're looking for. All right. See you soon. Peace. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.